Has anyone ever heard of Ebola, SARS, or Hendra viruses? These are viral pathogens that started in animals and were transmitted to humans in the last several decades or, decades or so, causing local or even global epidemics. So one of the most commonly used models to uh, estimate pathogen dynamics is the SIR model, or the Susceptible Infected Recovered Model, which models the transition of individuals from being one of susceptible to infected to recovered. So the transition from susceptible to infected is referred to as transmission, and typically the SIR model assumes that transmission is random, meaning that all individuals in a population have an equal likelihood of transmitting a pathogen. However, in nature, almost nothing is random, and there's substantial evidence suggesting that pathogen transmission is also non-random. Um, so, so, so to test it, or sorry, So to, ah, oh, man. So although there are a number of factors that influence transmission, I am particularly interested in the role of host behavior. And in particular, I'm interested in this idea of animal personality. So animals, just like humans, have personalities. And this could be a potentially important predictor of pathogen transmission. So if we use a human example, people that are touching doorknobs, shaking lots of hands, maybe you have children in daycare, these people are more likely to get sick than the rest of us. So the same thing applies to animals. More social, more exploratory animals are more likely to have and then transmit pathogens. So this, based on this logic, I tested um, whether animal personality influences pathogen dynamics by experimentally manipulating pathogen dynamics in a semi-captive colony of bats. So what I did is I quantified personality for individual bats to test how social and how exploratory they actually are. So this ranges from very social or very exploratory to not very social and not very exploratory. And then I tested which of these individuals were more likely to transmit a pathogen using a UV fluorescent powder as a, con as a proxy for a contagious pathogen. So this lower photo on my slide here shows a bat wing extended out with this green UV fluorescent powder that I used as a proxy for a disease. So as I expected, I found positive correlations between UV powder infection and sociality and exploration, meaning that the most social and the most exploratory individuals um, were the ones that were transmitting higher levels of this pathogen. So my study is the first to link animal personality to pathogen transmission for any wildlife species. And in, a case with, uh, or in the case of a disease that actually causes mortality to the host, um, such as white-nose syndrome in bats, um, if the most social or the most exploratory individuals are the ones that are actually dying, this could be hugely problematic for the remaining population if everybody left is antisocial or less exploratory. Um, finally, um, this type of research opens the door for us to better understand which individuals are actually causing these epidemics that I've referred to off the top. Thank you.